Okay, so the last lesson we drew this rectangle using um, the single line tool and just uh, dragging back to end point snaps and midpoint snaps and perpendicular snaps. All this stuff you'll get used to after using it and I highly recommend um, just using this program and fumbling your way through it a little bit at the start because it's the more practice you can do with it, uh, the more you'll really get to know what does what. Um, remember control Z, it always undoes uh, something wrong. So if I did this and I moved the line down there and went, oh no, I didn't want to do that, I could always just move it back. But if I wasn't sure what I had to do to fix it up, if I press control Z, it'll go back to where it was. It undoes the last action. To redo, you can press control Y. Control Z, Control Y. Now moving on, we want to put a border on this page so it looks like a proper drawing page. I could convert this rectangle by clicking around, uh, clicking and dragging and highlighting the whole rectangle. I can select that rectangle and I can reshape this rectangle to fit where I want it. Now if I move the corners that will resize the rectangle but keep the same proportions as in width and height. If I grab the arrows on the sides and the top and the bottom, if I grab these arrows it just makes that side extended. Same over here. So I can do that. I can go and put that around there. Now it all looks pretty good there but if we zoom in we'll see that I'm not quite on my margin line. So I'm missing that point there. What I can do is try and move that around. But what I'd like you to do is actually draw a rectangle from scratch. So I could select that and then I could move that over and get it exactly where I want it to be, etc. For now I want to highlight that rectangle and delete it because I want to teach you how to just draw a rectangle from scratch because it's really easy. Highlight this little hotkey over here, the rectangle. Pretty self-explanatory really. Click on rectangle. Now we want to try and get right on the corner of where the margin is. And it's pretty hard to do that at this view. So we need to zoom in. It's still hard to do there. Just zoom in as close as you like until you, you know that you can see exactly where you want to select that point. Just cl left click once then move your mouse and you'll see that the rectangle follows you. What we need to do is drag this corner here down to the opposite corner of our page. So we might zoom back out, scroll along, scroll down and we want to select right on that point there and press left click. Now if we zoom back out or press Control G to centre the page, you'll see that that margin that we've just drawn in or border or rectangle is perfectly in line with the uh, margins on our paper. And that's a that's a good start to put a to put a border on your page. Okay, if we wanted to throw a title block we could I've still still got rectangle selected. I could just go to endpoint snap and drag a rectangle out here. I might do that again. It'll go midpoint snap there with the triangle and left click again to put the line in place. I might even put one here and as easy as that we've thrown a title block in. At the moment I might show you how to put text in go to the uh, button that has an A on it and look at text. So up the top you'll see a text toolbar come up. It'll give you text height, an angle for the text to be on, a different font can be selected. Um, just say we'll go and uh, select Baskerville Old Face. Now again the cursor is highlighted red. If I if I do uh, lettering on the page, I don't really worry about selecting exactly where I want the lettering because you can always move it later on. So I can even just select anywhere on my page 
and start to write, um, let's just say, drawing one. Now, when I'm finished, if I just right click off the screen twice, or off the drawing twice on the screen, you'll see that the drawing one text that I've just written can be moved around. If I grab this, I can stretch it. I don't want to do that though, so I'll control Z to undo that. So to select the text, just left click on it. Make sure you've got that cursor symbol there so you can move it. And you can go and throw that in there. If you find that um, it's hard to line that up where you want it, maybe turn snap off or grid point snap off and position it exactly where you want it and then make sure you turn them back on. Um, another thing, we might just do that again. I might change the text height here now to a bit smaller, 6 mil, and I might write scale 1 to 10. Okay, right click, right click, left click and drag. And I might throw that over here. Okay, so adding text is quite easy in, in AutoSketch and editing text is quite easy as well because I can left click on that. I can go up here and change that to a bit bigger if I want. I can change the font. I can even change the colours. Okay, the next lesson um, we'll have a look at actually starting a drawing and using the offset tool. Um, but just to let you know where the offset tool is before we move on, this one over here. And um, as we click on offset, it'll bring up a screen giving 5 millimeters. So that's where we'll head in the next lesson describing what offset actually is.